first of all, thanks so much for your time. What's it like to be back at the Pacific Academy? Like, I mean, it's a fantastic facility. What's it like to be here? Yeah, great. I mean, uh, I was lucky to join the academy last year. Uh, they gave me the opportunity while I, I was doing my, my coaching courses. So, you know, to have the opportunity again to keep learning and, and progressing as a football coach is, is excellent. So, yeah, I'm really happy to, to be back. I'm, I'm really looking forward to Pairing up with, with South Shields, what's it like pre-season? Looking forward to that? Yes, I mean, uh, it's, it's something I haven't done for, for a few years now. Uh, since I stopped playing, uh, I haven't done pre-season. You know, I try to like, keep myself fit, but obviously pre-season is a different part of, uh, of football. So, um, uh, yeah, it should be fun. I mean, uh, it probably do a bit more running, but uh, yeah, it should be fun. And the, cam the camaraderie around the place, obviously at the stadium, like, but the academy, like, the, the coaches, as well, as well as South Shields, how important is that for you, you know, to be part of that? Well, I mean, at the moment, I'm, I'm in, in a point in my life where, like, you know, I, I still play in South Shields because, uh, luckily, I, I got the time. Um, but um, I always say, you know, uh, coaching is what I want to do from now on. And, uh, and obviously, the academy is always going to be priority. But as I say, you know, I, I got the time now to do both. So I'm happy that I can still coaching and playing at the same time. And looking at Sunderland's fixtures that have been released, obviously, uh, Manchester City away, first game of the season. Uh, Pep Guardiola, what what, what, do you, what do you make of the fixtures for Sunderland? Well, I mean, uh, probably best time to play them. Uh, when you think about it, you know, Man City away, first game, new players, uh, they probably don't know each other much. Um, don't get me wrong, they're going to have a great squad, but uh, I believe Sunderland, you know, finished well last season, so I'm sure that uh, they're going to get new players, they're going to make the team stronger, and I'm sure Sam Alada is going to gonna try to you know, hopefully put the team this year in a comfortable position in the Premier League. And first, obviously, home game is Middlesbrough, one I'm sure which you're looking forward to more than most, a uh, former club of yours, of course. What do you make of that first home game for Sunderland? Well, I mean, it's, uh, first of all, it's good to see Middlesbrough uh, coming back to the Premier League after so many years. And of course, uh, Sunderland stay up was, uh, was a great achievement. But uh, yeah, I mean, at Derby, everyone loves Derby. Obviously, having Newcastle uh, in the Championship now, they're going to miss that. But they got the, got the other one, so it's going to be a full house, very entertaining day. And, you know, uh, let, let's see what happens. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, as I say, it's great to see, you know, Middlesbrough and, and Sunderland in the Premier League again. And obviously, a game that you've scored both for Sunderland and for Middlesbrough in, you know, what did that mean to you at the time, you know, scoring for Sunderland, especially that free kick against Middlesbrough? Well, last season for us uh, wasn't a great season. You know, we, we got relegated and we were like, we didn't probably have the quality uh, enough to stay in the Premier League, but uh, that was probably one of the best games we played uh, and we won and I scored, so that was a great day. And then scoring against Sunderland, I mean, uh, I don't really score many, many head goals, uh, so, uh, but I knew. I know, always when you play against your old team, you have more chances to score than, than any other games. And, uh, and it happened uh, against Sandra. And it was a, it's a good game till I got injured. So everything happened again. You know, I score a goal, then I give the ball away, uh, and then I ended up getting injured. Uh, so, but, um, but yes, I mean, uh, playing for both, for, for both teams was, was a great experience for me. It must be great as well to see Middlesbrough back in the, for the Premier League. Obviously, you spent a number of years there. Um, as well as obviously the Sunderland, so it must be great that they are back in the big time now. Yes, I mean, they've been fighting for, as you say, so many years. Uh, the chairman been putting a lot of money uh, to obviously give the chance, uh, give the team a better chance to get back in the Premier League. And, you know, last season pay off, you know, the season before they were really, really close when they lost that final. Uh, but last season they, they played well, they were consistent. Uh, they got a good manager, good players, so I'm sure, you know, the manager is going to look again to get new players to like uh, make the team stronger and and try to to fight to to stay in a good position in the Premier League. And just going back to Sunderland, obviously, you mentioned ending the season well, ending the season really strongly. That there was a real sort of unity within the squad, within the players themselves. Um, obviously, what Allardyce said, the hard work that he paid off. It's very similar to what Peter Reid seems to have achieved in his days at the club as well. How important is that unity, that team, that team spirit within the, within the, the whole the whole place really? Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's like the same kind of school, you know, um, they're coming from uh, Sam Allardyce and Peter Reed, you know. Uh, it'll be, yeah, I mean, they finished well, but the last thing the Sunderland fans want to see is going through that again. Uh, it's been happening for the last three or four seasons and it's very, it's very frustrating, you know, when you see like um, 
all the, the backup we have from the fans, the support, um, you know, every time they play at home is, is a full house. So uh, expecting to see, obviously, uh, better performances. And, and as you say, you know, the, the last part of the season, they, they done really well. They, they play together, they fight for each other. And obviously, it's a big influence from the manager that uh, that happened. So I'm sure he's going to keep the team right. Uh, as I say, uh, he's probably going to bring new players because um, he needs to to probably get stronger in, in different positions. But um, yeah, we're looking forward to see Sunderland, uh, you know, being being comfortable in the Premier League this season.